Hello, welcome to Hydro Virtual Cases. For today, we have a very short, a very rare and interesting video of elephantiasis. This is a 37 year old lady who developed a swelling of uh, one limb since the last 20 years. The swelling increased slightly over the last 20 years. She started getting recurrent infection of that foot and also the foot has become now completely deformed. That's the reason she came to us. When we saw that foot, it was definitely, it was completely deformed as you can see in the video. The skin was very hard, the skin was very thick and she even had an infection of the sole of the foot. This was a classical case of elephantiasis of the left lower limb. Yeah, you have just seen a very interesting video of a completely deformed foot in elephantiasis. Does anybody know the reason of why elephantiasis is called as elephantiasis? Why it could not be called lioness, tigress, giant limb, huge limb, but why only elephantiasis? To know the reason, you have to go into the pathophysiology of the disease. So how do you get filariasis? Filariasis occurs by the bite of a mosquito. The commonest mosquito is the Culex mosquito. Sometimes even Anopheles is known to transmit the filarial germs. When this mosquito bites a human being, these parasites, the most commonest being Usheria bancrofti, is transmitted to the skin of the human being. From here, this microfilaria migrate to the bloodstream and from the bloodstream, in the end, they go to the lymphatics. Here they remain for years, maybe five years or 10 years. Over a period of years, they block the lymphatics completely. And once you block the lymphatics, you get a swelling of that limb. So the most common sites of these, uh, these huge limbs in filariasis was seen in both the upper and lower limbs, in the genitals as hydrocele and the breasts. The swelling in the limb never goes. It increases in size and slowly over a period of years, maybe 10 years, 20 years, the patient starts getting recurrent infection of that limb and the skin becomes very thick. The skin becomes very hard. This, as you can see in the photo, and this thick and hard skin resembles that of an elephant. Even the elephant has a thick and hard skin. So I have shown you that too in the photo. So here you have a patient who has a very big limb. He has a very hard and thick skin which is very similar to the elephant, hence it is called as elephantiasis. I hope now you understand the reason why elephantiasis is called as elephantiasis. I hope you have enjoyed this video and for many more videos, please stay tuned to Hide of Virtual Cases.